Hello guys and welcome to today's video. Well today we are finally gonna do the Q&A that I promised you guys. Uh, but something came in between and then you know how that stuff goes and uh, yeah. It was a little bit a pain in the ass because I already shot this video before. It was almost 50 minutes long and then I accidentally deleted it. So that's why I'm gonna do it in two parts now because um, I just got a lot more questions asked than last time because if I'm gonna look at my list uh, then we got uh, 23 questions asked and last time it was 15 but also some people actually asked more than one question in their post which is fine uh, because now I can still answer them but in the future if this keeps growing and growing I won't be able to do all the questions anymore or we'll do have to do like a 10 part video and I was gonna watch that so uh, yeah I'm actually pretty curious uh, because like in one month uh, it really the, the Q&A questions grew already with almost double so if I do it next month what, what will it be 50 questions <laughs> and also guys if you PM me on Instagram and ask me something here I always try to answer you guys but I'm getting like a lot of questions last time uh, I'm getting a lot of questions asked last uh, last few weeks and I try to answer them all the time but sometimes it's possible that um, something comes in between and uh, yeah it's it's just it's not always possible but uh, yeah I'm gonna do my best to keep you guys happy but the channel is growing which I do like and uh, um, but anyway, let's uh, start with the Q&A because this is already gonna be a pretty long video. What was that? Oh, it was a cat. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first reaction that I got, so I'm going to do the oldest questions first and then um, I'm going to the top and then halfway through I'm going to do cut this video for tomorrow. Uh, but first of all, the first question is from Mads Beamer, and I'm gonna say his name on the screen. Uh, but he's actually also a good friend of mine, he's also a YouTuber, who also owns an F20. But he's not into modding his car, well he wants to, but he hasn't done anything yet, because his F20 is completely, but absolutely completely stock. He's more like a teacher, he tells us how to do stuff on your car, like how to change the fog lights, how to do an oil change, how to how do you replace your spark plugs and it's also an F2160i with the N13 engine so it's a really interesting video for most of you guys since a lot of you actually own also an N13 engine 1 series um, like he also gives tutorials on what to do how, to, how do I open the boots when my battery is flat and stuff like that so he's a, real, he's a nice informative guy um, he's more the teacher and I'm more the tuner so if you have a lot of questions like how do I do stuff like that you can always try to answer uh, to try to uh, ask it him because he will probably know it and I don't because I'm not really into maintaining this car because I actually go to a garage for stuff like that I'm more just into tuning my car I'm not a mechanic well I have a paper that I am but I never do mechanical stuff so yeah, his question anyway was, hey brother, I'm glad you're doing a Q&A. My question would be on behalf of the people that are new to modding their cars, what order should you do the mods, not including an engine mod though. Cheers. Um, well, it depends actually what are you starting with. So if you already have like one series with an amp package, a nice 18 inch alloys, uh, then it's completely different than when you have like a one series that I got which was just a normal one without an amp package on normal stock alloy, or alloys and a ride height of an SUV so it really depends on what you're starting with so if you already have like a nice amp package um, um, and cool wheels I would maybe go for like angel eyes because that really that really makes it look so much better or um, lowering springs that's what I would do on a car like that or maybe a carbon fiber spoiler to make the boot a little bit more aggressive or a muffler delete and a tune so somewhere in that area I would begin 
because that's a mo one modification that already makes big change to your car. If you do like black line tail lights, it really won't make a major difference. But if you do like a boot spoiler, lowering your car, then it already does make a m bigger difference. If you have a stock car, just completely stock, then I would just, you know, get eight nice 18 inch alloys. I would get that 18 inch alloys and lower your car with lowering springs. Um, that would really make the car look already that much more sportive and maybe some black kidney grills that I do sell because they are not that expensive. So I would start somewhere there, uh, like black kidney grills and lowering your car and nice wheels. That's actually almost anything that I've done to my previous car, the, the black one series, and that already got a decent amount of attention. It was just a basic one series but lower and nice wheels and people already liked it so it got good uh, feedback you know the engine sucked because it was slow and used more fuel than this one um, yeah, but that's what I would start with nice wheels lowering and black kidneys and then you're already going pretty far and maybe the M wings um, but that depends on if you like it so that's what I would do um, lowering a nice wheels and then maybe cut the exhaust off and get a tune and you're already ha driving a pretty cool car so that's what I would do um, the next question is from uh, why does it always refresh that's pretty annoying uh, come on oh, I just went back to the home page and my internet is gone so yeah that is that's a bummer come on Wi-Fi let's do your best uh, Huh. Okay, we're connected again. I don't know why it doesn't connect. Okay. okay. So the next question is from. I can't find it anymore. It's just so here. Go. That's really annoying that it keeps refreshing. Okay. Next question is from Oliver Waters. What was your MPG before the remap and after? Well, it was actually two times about the same. Um, I had about 35 MPGs because you know most people think that I floor this car the whole time but that's not true yeah I do it for YouTube often and I do remaps and stuff like that and then donuts and burnouts and drag races but you know actually like 90% of my kilometers with this car are me driving normal just normal I only drive fast for five reasons for YouTube when I have to take a shit, when I'm angry, um, when there is someone else that wants to play, and when I'm hungry. So that's the only time when I actually drive fast. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, um, it was before the remap, it was actually around 35 MPGs, and now it's about also 35 sometimes a little bit more when I have floored it more often than normally then I can get to the 28 MPGs but really if you keep you know using the same driving style as before then your MPG won't change that much actually uh, even with regular pulse the MPG only drops very slightly and that's a nice thing because for 225 horsepower this car is actually very very decent on fuel and that's also why i like it as a daily driver because i've once been to when it's already remapped to switzerland and i had to turn off my 4g connection because it's not in europe and then otherwise i would have a massive bill and um so i couldn't use my um mobile raiders thingy because it didn't work without internet and i just drove the whole switzerland i kept the speed limit which was very hard for me I just drove 80, 100, 120 in 6 gear, no traffic, and this car used less. I mean, I had over 40 MPGs, easily. Uh, so it really was, you know, it's a decent car on fuel, really. For the horsepower, it's pretty good on fuel. So it was around 35 MPGs, and uh, that's about 8 liters to 100 kilometer. Okay, the next question is top 8. What, in your opinion, better taking front and we will drive out of consideration getting a car like yours and modding it, modding it like you did or getting a Mark 7 Volkswagen GTI with a Stage 1? Thanks, bro. Whew, that's a tough one because I actually always make this car look different because of the rear wheel drive. Because... What the fuck? 
Oh, that was Google that has to be a bitch. Um, no, it's actually I am um, always making this car look different from the other hatchbacks because it's rear wheel driven. That's really the biggest thing that sets it apart. And the 140i because it has six uh, cylinder. This one only has a four cylinder, like most hatchbacks. But if you take that off out of consideration, that means that you don't really mind if your car is bad at launching because front wheel drive doesn't launch that well okay. unless you have semi slicks and very hot weather. Um, and you don't mind doing donuts and drifts and stuff like that. So if you're just looking at straight line speed then and high speed cornering and stuff like that i think they're both pretty decent options i'm more a bmw fan so i would always be the one series over golf uh but you gotta think that actually this car as it sits here right now is actually more expensive or almost as expensive as a golf 7 gti and a golf 7 gti in its weakest form so the earlier models with a stage one tune are already pushing over 300 horsepower so they will be much faster than this car so it depends what do you want do you want straight line speed then i would get a golf if you want a little bit more fun in the corners then i would get this one but be sure that you change your coilovers brakes and tires but that's a little bit what you also ask because you know you include the modding um but yeah it's like i said if you just Purely strict about straight line speed on the highway, not from a standstill because on uh, one eight mile this car will still be a lot faster because it launches a lot better. But if you are looking at standstill, um, then I would get this car. But if you want to do a lot of rolling races on the highway and stuff like that, then I would get a Golf GTI even with the DSG. Then they are really stupidly fast because that's a lot faster than a manual car. Um, so yeah, um, that's really the, the difference that you have to make out for yourself uh, because they're both German cars, they're both pretty good, I um, mean modern interior, maybe like yeah, a, a later, M, M, what was it this, an MK7.5 with a digital dashboard is pretty nice and stuff like that, but you know a leather later one series uh, the problem is with these though is the 114i you can only get until 2015 because uh, from 2015 they and later they scrapped the 114i um, and the 116 and 18i became three cylinders so but you know if you really care about straight line speed though and you're already giving money on a mark 7 gti then i would maybe look at a 125i because they have the same stock horsepower as Golf 7 GTI and with the stage 1 tune they are almost identical and you still keep the rear wheel drive and you know, fun driving and you have the same straight line speed so that's what I would consider then uh, but you know it's still that this car is not made for 220 horsepower you'll need to do some changes and the Golf 7 GTI is designed from the factory as a hot hatchback so it really depends on what you want I would say take them both for a test drive and really see what you like the most so that's what I would do um, but straight answer is for me is the one series because I've driven both and I just prefer rear wheel drive over front wheel drive but that's out of consideration but I still I'm still picking the one series so I just I just like the looks a little bit more too I'm not gonna say the MK, MK7 is an ugly car but I'm just not a big Volkswagen fan um, don't call me based I'm just not a big fan I like Audi R3 and S3 way more actually uh, but yeah okay so uh, next question is from Mano Productions do you consider getting a race cat and maybe mid silencer the late um, well the race cat I'm actually I'm thinking about a catless downpipe which is almost the same I think I am planning on doing that and the mid silencer delete I have actually already done that almost a year ago um, so my car is currently, you have, on this type of car, you have a catalytic converter, mid silencer and a rear silencer. And I deleted the last two and I still have my catalytic converter, but if you want to go stage two, so you want to have more power, then you will have to delete that one. But then you have nothing, nothing anymore that silences your car. And I've heard the one series with the same engine that got that setup and it's just too loud you feel vibration at your feet and your hands it's just too loud 
So what I'm going to do that I'm going to put back the silencer in the car and will probably be a mid silencer or um, a remus rear muffler. I'm not sure about that yet, but uh, that's what I'm going to do. So currently I'm going to do a catalyst down by 9 out of 10 and I'm may probably going to put back my mid silencer then because otherwise it will be just too much just a little bit too much uh, it's a daily driver you know if I have another car I only drive to meetings with this one then I'm maybe would do it but as a daily driver I have to you know have a certain amount of comfort that's what, also why my car is not slammed to the ground like some cars uh, but yeah okay next question is if you hadn't bought a one series now what would you do have bought instead um, so, not sure how to answer this question in what visual it's asked. If I didn't bought this one like in the beginning of January last year, what would I, what would have I bought right now? If I kept driving the old one series, then I guess then I would probably got the one M thirty five I because really with all the months that I spent now, I would maybe be able to get one. Uh, but you guys must consider one thing before you you all of you say you should have went for a 135i um, that's true I could have bought one with the money that I spent on this car but just realize one thing I would only be able to get a 135i until now at this moment with all the money that I spent I would be able to get one just realize one thing if I would only have been able to get one right now the videos on this car that I made from January until today were not possible, they simply would not exist. So my channel wouldn't be as it was right now. So you gotta think it like that. I mean, this car was necessary to start the channel. Um, otherwise, I was still driving the old one series and I wouldn't modificate that anymore because that at the moment would have around 200,000 kilometers and I just wouldn't start with that anymore. So result was a dead YouTube channel. So then maybe now I could start with the modifications, but still I, I'm not unhappy with the way that I did it. Um, with the question again, I was actually going to go off topic. Yeah, if you hadn't bought a one series right now. So then I would probably get a 135i by now. If you mean that a one series is complete out of consideration, so it can be a one series, then I would really love a Ford Focus RS, like the, the Mark III generation. And I don't think they would be a bad investment since that they actually not going to make a new Ford Focus RS. Um, but yeah, I will, I think I'm really in love with the Ford Focus RS. Our Audi RS3 is also very, very nice, but I think budget-wise it's just a little bit overkill. Maybe like the first generation is just understeering. And I'm like, I'm liking my corners, you know. Um, so I would probably say maybe an MK2 RS3 if I found a good one, maybe. Ford Focus RS, something like that. It can be a one series, but yeah, that's that's I mean, what I think I would get. Um, not hundred percent sure because I've never driven one. I was once passenger in an RS3. That car was stage two tuned to 525 horsepower, and that went insanely fast. When you're going a hundred and he floored it, I mean it pushed me harder in the seats than launching this car from a standstill. It's just. It's amazing how fast that car goes. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think a Ford Focus RS would be a good option. Um, but yeah. Okay, so the next question. Now my dog, shut up. Okay, uh, the next one is from Niels Fovar. No, that's, that, that was one from Niels Fovar, I'm sorry. Uh, the next one is from Fox Gaming. Why? not doing pops and banks man well it's very simple why i'm not doing that because my car actually already makes a lot of burbles um so um i'm gonna show a few clips at the moment Here, my car actually already makes a lot of uh, crackles while driving, and I think that's enough because the 
very aggressive pops and bangs where you just hear your car going bam, 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 when it's like you're firing a gun at someone. I just don't like that sound that much, to be honest. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I just like a little bit more subtle um, burbles like mine does. Actually, it's perfect for me. I just like that a little bit more. Uh, I, I'm, I'm actually happy with how it sits because it actually only does it with the straight pipe in eco pro mode so I can turn it off when I'm in sport and um, it's not over the top it's only there when I want it to be so yeah I mean I'm, I'm very happy with the current state so that's why I'm not going to do uh, pops and bangs because it's also I've heard but I've heard mixed stories of it that it's bad for your turbo and you will also have a downpipe which I don't have yet so uh, so yeah so that's so that's that that's why I don't have pops and bangs mode because I'm actually already pretty happy with how the car is at the moment okay uh, next one is that was a question from Fox Gaming next one is from MB which mods are you going to do in the future um, for this month uh, now this Friday I'm gonna get semi splits because my rear tires are just completely bald i have no idea how exactly but yeah they are bald um so that's the first new modifications i'm getting a strut, br strut brace for in the front then i'm also um getting new um, mats floor mats because the current ones are just completely wasted i'm also gonna finish the m interior with the black roof liner subwoofer android unit uh, maybe a speaker system upgrade cs look hood and i think that will be it for this year because those are really expensive modifications i'm not 100 percent sure yet how and when but those are certainly the looks i'm looking at for this year um i still have other plans to do but you know i'm just saying if you guys you know decide to watch my videos insanely more than before and if my views are like 10 times as much as they are right now and I have like a few hundred euros each month extra then of course we will do more modifications than when I just have my normal loan from my 97 job and a little extra that I have from the merch and YouTube so uh, it all depends a little bit you never know uh, but for now that's how it certainly goes with the current budget um, so that are the modifications that i have planned for the next upcoming period and uh, you know exterior we're not going to do that much anymore because the car is actually very nice as it sits i'm maybe still going to do the roof in black and my uh, door handles in black but most of that um I'll, i also wanted to wrap these in black but then i demolished the maximum splitter and I'm, then i got this so now I don't have to do that anymore, so maybe a black roof and the CS look good and then the car and then the black uh, door handles and that's I think the only thing that I would still do from the exterior maybe give the great calipers a new color, maybe change the rims but you know this car as it sits right now is 90% how it's gonna stay because I'm really uh, I, I do like the look, we're getting some subtle touches the biggest change will be the hood um, but yeah most of the exterior has been done but we still have the interior infotainment and handling modifications on the list so stay tuned uh, we're still not done with the car still a lot of plans with it and at the end of the day i would be driving a much too expensive 114i but i don't care i enjoy it so yeah um wait oh it's uh it's in a different order at the moment i think i just answer the question that was not in order um, yeah I actually accidentally answered the question that was way up um, I think but it's very annoying in this, uh, uh, this YouTube thing I don't know why or what but uh, yeah pop some bangs give me a second okay so yeah it was uh, a question but I'm gonna just go on 
Okay, um, I'm not skipping anyone's okay, case. So um, the order of my comments just changed because I probably have to do a setting or something. So that was actually a question from MB, which was way up higher. Uh, so I'm going back in order right now. Um, so I answered all these questions now. It's uh, Jake's B turn. Will you buy a cheap approached car, shit box, maybe even old timer? I want to, uh, but currently, you know, with my current incoming stuff like that, I'm not going to because it's not my my, my first objective to get an old timer. I want to focus on one build and finish that one. Uh, but like I said, if my YouTube would ever explode and go big, I would certainly get an old timer or an older car. I would think about, you know, as an old timer, maybe an E30 M3, certainly would love one, maybe in a few years, an E46 M3, that's not yet an old timer, but it's an older getting car, um, it's definitely something that I want, and I'm also in love with a Mazda MX-5 NA, so the first generation, I just love those cars so much, then you just, you know, lower them, you put that nice black front lip on them, get some nice alloys, a little bit of stance, and then they're just perfect. I, I really love those cars. That's really a car that I would like to get um, in the future and it's and it's cheap and it won't be actually a bad investment because they're holding value pretty decently. So yeah, I, I would like to own one, like to get one as a project, but currently that would just you know slow this build down. And I wanna focus everything on this build because if I would get an old timer, then I wouldn't be able to mod this car for a few months and Currently, I don't want to do that. I want to do it when I can buy a car and still keep modding the main car and stuff like that. So, yeah, I would want one, but when or whatever, not 100% sure. Uh, that's still a big question mark, but we're gonna see. Um, okay, so yeah, this is part one of the video. Um, like I said, the next few questions will be asked in the next video, because otherwise it will just a little bit be too long I would say um, so yeah uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys back tomorrow for part two bye